guys. Um, so today I'm going to be making some really pretty um, beach coasters. Um, I have a couple seashells here that I can choose from, some sea glass. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol inks. This is Pool by Ranger. Um, I'm going to be using craft sand. It looks like this and it has a little bit of glitter in it. I'm using black and white. Um, this is not my original idea. When I first started doing resin about, I want to say two years ago, I, I started doing coasters and I found a YouTube tutorial and it was something similar to this. I want to say her name was the Frugal Crafter, I believe. Um, but before I post the video up, I will find her link and put it in the description box to give her credit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I mixed up like an ounce of resin, just a tiny bit. Let me put my gloves on. And I'm gonna get the sand. This um, mold comes from Amazon. I'll leave the description. Everything I use will be in the description box below. Right below the video, you press the little arrow down, the description box pops down, and then everything will be there, and you can see everything that I use. And there will be links. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of resin into my sand. And mix it up. Um, now this white sand is looking a little bit brown because when I took pictures for my mica company, Island Micas, I'm just doing a little bit more. I had, um, I used it to take pictures. Like I would put a seashell on top and um, whatever, it has mica in it. But it's not bad, it gives it a little beigey color. The last time I did the coaster though, it did look pretty when the sand was super white. So hopefully it'll look good. And I've never tried a black sand beach one, so hopefully that one will look good. But what you're looking for is to just coat the sand to make it wet. Then I'll pour some into my black glitter sand, <laughs> glitter sand. So I mixed up an ounce and I used about a half ounce in each and it was just um, a little bit of sand. It was a solo cup and the sand was probably filled up like right there. You're just going to want to make sure you mix it up really good. Oh, I also have some starfish. I had sand dollars, but I ran out. Um, sand dollars look really pretty on the beach. If you're going to use sand dollars, you're going to want to Mod Podge them first. Or else, um, when they're submerged in the resin, they kind of turn translucent, like see-through. And it doesn't look very good. Okay. So now I'm gonna get a popsicle stick. I'm gonna start with my white, my beige. I need like a little napkin to set my dirty stick on. I'm never prepared. I don't wanna ruin my new counters already. They're already, although they're already getting ruined. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of the sand And I'm gonna put it right here. And there's a little gold rock. I'm telling you, there's all kinds of stuff in this sand. The black sand's brand new. This one is not. And I'm just gonna scrape that in. If you if you make if you put too much resin in it, it'll get really runny. 
and it will fill up the whole dish and that's not the look that you're going for. So I'm just spreading my beach out and kind of making it even there. Then I'm gonna get my black. I think I only um, did enough to make two. If so, that's fine. All of my artwork, um, I'm not, I, I said this in a previous video, I'm not going down to sunset anymore for now. So all of my artwork that I'm creating in my YouTube channels, my YouTube channel, I'm selling for super duper cheap on my Island Micah's website, islandmicahsandmore.com. It's under artwork for sale. So all of these things will be for sale there. Okay. So my black sand looks like tar. Hopefully with the blue water, it'll look pretty and the little sea glass and stuff on it. Just patting it down, pushing it where you want it to go, whatever kind of look you're going for. Okay, now the next step is to let this sit for 15 minutes. Um, when you stick the seashells and the starfish and stuff if you stick it on while it's too wet what will happen is they will sink right in so we're gonna let it get nice and sticky and then we'll stick them on and we'll do the next step so i will see you guys in 15 minutes i'm gonna set my timer and i will be back see you soon hey guys all right so it's been 15 minutes and it's sticky a little bit sticky and I am looking for a Q-tip right now. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to find it. So I'm gonna get a baby wipe and try to clean some of the black sand that I got on the rest of the coaster. I'm just wiping that out. You gotta be careful with baby wipes. It could leave little pieces of um, fabric behind cloth, whatever it is. Okay. So now I'm just going to place some some sea uh, starfish and seashells. I wish um, my starfish were a little bit bigger. I like to have one like hanging off here. I'm just going through my seashells and I just press them right down into the resin Oops, that one was upside down And I have a little bit of sea glass and I thought because the beach was so dark that I could brighten it up. I need one more tiny piece of sea glass. 
I have like this whole thing a friend gave me. She lives in Buffalo on the lake. And my sister gave me some of this too. It's like a mixture. I'm trying to look for, oh, my dogs are barking. I was trying to look for something maybe green to throw on that side. Maybe there. Hopefully it's not too colorful. I don't know. I don't know what they're barking at. Are you filming? Yeah, I'm filming. All right, so I think that is enough. Um, I don't want to overdo it. I've never used sea glass before. Did I say that already? So I don't know how it's going to look if they're... If you put something in resin, like, say... It needs, it needs to be dark and not translucent because it could get lost in the resin. But it has color to it, so I think it'll be all right. So say if I put, if I made a mermaid tail and then immersed it into the resin, you know, if it was a clear mermaid tail, it would just get lost right in the resin. But it, so it needs to be colored, if that makes sense. All right, so while I was waiting on the last six minutes, I mixed up six ounces of resin. I'm gonna get some gloves. I find that I repeat myself in my tutorials a lot. Like I say the same thing over again, but you never know um, when somebody started watching my tutorials. So maybe they didn't catch that on the last one. So anyways, there's my six ounces of resin and here is my pool. And I'm just gonna put a couple drops and see, I'm gonna stir it up and see how it goes. I want it I don't, I just want a tint of the blue. I don't want it too dark. And I think this is perfect. It's just like a little hint that the water has color. And then I'm just gonna pour it. And when I'm looking, I feel like it's not dark enough. When I poured it in, I don't see any of the blue at all. I'm just gonna put a little more. That's probably because of the red. And then I'm gonna regret that I put more, but I'm going for it. It's probably just because of the red mold. When you see it from the side, you're gonna see the blue. Gotta get that those inks mixed in mixed in good or there will be some little streaky things in there so these were one of my big sellers at sunset people really enjoyed these with the sand i sold a lot of coasters coasters are big it's a functional gift all right. So I'm just filling this up now. They usually take about three ounces each. I still feel like it's not quite enough blue, but it'll be okay. And now your starfish and your seashells are not gonna float to the top like they normally would if you were doing, 
if you didn't have the sand because they you stuck them down into the sand. You may have a couple bubbles um, float up from the seashells, which is okay because it's an ocean coaster. My dogs barked in my last YouTube tutorial. I have six dogs, so it's like hopeless not to have dogs barking. So I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. My last one was the fast set resin and they were scratching on the door and crying to come in. Okay, so now the bubbles on the top. Normally you shouldn't torch your molds. I go over this in a lot of tutorials. This is the best thing to use. However, mine is not working. Oh, look, there it goes. To me, it's not enough and I want to torch it. <laughs> So if you over torch it, the resin will get really hot, it'll stick to the mold, and then it'll burn the mold, and then when you try to get the coaster out, you're not getting it out. So if you if you think you're going to over torch it, it's better to use a lighter. This is also a cheaper um, mold that came from Amazon. If you have really expensive molds, the Resin Queen, Philip Danner, all those guys, you don't really want to torch them because it's, you know, super extensive. But what I do is I hold it from far back. I turn it on and I turn it off. Boom, like that. I just hit it one time and back away. 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 Basically like that. Now I'm going to do the next one. You're not holding the heat on it. You're not heating it up. One of my little star, one of my little seashells, I didn't stick it in the sand good enough and it's floating up. And all you have to do is just stick it back into the sand. So now what I'm gonna do is, there's still bubbles. I'm gonna step away from this for like 10 minutes because what happens is, is all of the bubbles will start forming to the center in about 10 minutes and then I could just pop them right there. So I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes and I'll be back to show you how I pop them. And I didn't press these down into the sand. I told you they wouldn't float up and they did. But anyways, so I'll be back in 10 minutes, pop the bubbles, and then we will be back tomorrow to demold these and see how they look. All right, see ya in 10. Hey guys, so it's been like 10 minutes and I have the camera in my hands because I want to up close and show you. You see how if you let it sit, the bubbles will rise to the top, right in the center there, Ooh. and right there in a ring. And I wanted to also say there's other ways of getting rid of bubbles and not torching. And um, some people use a heating pad, some people warm up their resin. How I started, I just learned by torching and I'm very careful and I know what I'm doing. So I just keep doing it because it's convenient for me. So anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna torch it. So so remember if you much, must torch, on off, on off. Do not burn your mold. And look at that, clear. Clear. Looking at this um, from the top view, I'm sort of wishing I would have put a little more blue, but I guess I'm not really going to know t until tomorrow um, when we take them out of the mold and see how they are. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow so we could demold these and see what they look like. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, so these are ready to be demolded.
fingerprints on them a little. So I wish I would have went heavier on the blue. Um, I like to use, with these coasters, I like to use the top to set the drink on because there's a little lip right here. Some people like to dome it off and fill that lip in, but I actually like the lip, it catches the liquid. So I use the top of the coaster. So I think they're pretty cute. Wish I would have used a little more blue. They're pretty thick. Super shiny. So I'm gonna leave, um, I'm gonna take some still shots and I will leave some pictures of the ones I did before this that had a lot more blue in them in the really white sand. But these are super pretty. I think they came out good. Um, thank you guys for watching. Again, if you ever have any questions, leave it in the comments. Um, I try to get back to everybody as fast as I can and I will see you next time.